Hey guys, and welcome back to the backyard. This is episode 15, which is kind of crazy to think about that we've had 15 episodes so far, but we're doing pretty good. Sprinkles has been making a humongous addition to the area around the castle, and actually I wanted to talk a little bit about that in the very beginning of this episode because we have some plans. See, Sprinkles and I, I mean, look at the amazing builds that Sprinkles has created. Hi, ah, there's a skeleton. But obviously it's a lot of work for one person to do. So we thought we might invite some people by to be able to build up their own houses. And hopefully somebody will actually take up that offer because these spots are currently for rent. There's coal here. I'm... Add... La ladder... Someone's clearly already claimed this and is very much... Yeah, ten, ten minute timer. He, he's begun work. He looks like he's hard at work here, so I'm excited to see what he comes up with, especially with the cold. Hopefully these plots get taken up and people build some houses so they're open to the whole backyard again universe. So it should be exciting. But actually, that's what I kind of wanted to get to with the rest of the castle. It's going to be a lot of work to get all of my rooms figured out, especially when I want, you know, things furnished and stuff like that. I definitely have a lot of big plans that I am working on. Uh, we have the library, which we obviously still need to do. <laughs> we have the entranceway up in the center. We have the entranceway, which needs to be done. We have uh, the dining room and then this kind of building. And then, like, we have a bunch of, like, smaller areas that also need some work. But up here, I have laid out some spaces for some bedrooms. And I'm going to build up the walls around these bedrooms and hopefully you can get some people making some special rooms to move into the castle with. The only other update I have right now is Cece has added a train station. Or at least a- no, not a train station. This is the train junction. He's added a train junction to the area. Got lots of nice materials we can steal from him here. I don't know what he wants done with these materials, but you know, if he leaves them here, what the heck? <laughs> I didn't even see that. But yeah, this is uh, this is the train junction. So one is going to be going off into the castle. Like I have a station right up front of the castle, and this one will be going into Sprinkles' city area, into the the kingdom of Solora. And there will be a train station somewhere around here, I believe, was the idea. But maybe it will not. I don't know. So I've already contacted Cece and we're going to be working on the train station soon enough. I've already actually laid out a spot for the train station to take place. I'll give you a little snippet of me making this. You don't that every time you look at me with those eyes Everything inside my head goes blank I wanna tell you but I don't know what to say But yeah, this area is... I'm slowly needing it up So we have this which will go up to the train platform You get off the train here you can leave and then go into the city or you can go down the stairs here and down this pathway and this road will take you all the way out of the city. Um, I do need to kind of <laughs> carve out a path all the way down. I don't think this one will go the full way to wherever, but you know, I will definitely give it a try. We'll see how far I get. But like I said, there's a lot of like areas that need a little bit of work here and there. And one place, well, I'll take you guys to actually one of the places that needs a ton of work. Just 
pretend that maybe I found the one again. I want you for the rest of my days. Cause baby, I don't know what I do. And if I lost you, the love of my life would kill me. Many things in my castle that I need to do is、um, this side. <laughs> this entire side of the castle is pretty much like there's no kind words I can fathom. It's all just, you know, kind of、um, terrible to say the least. It's a little bit cobblestone y, it's a little bit empty. And I think, you know, it's about time that I actually do something about this. So I'll just explain my plans. I've actually mapped out where I want the wall on this side to go. It's just gonna kind of hug the central canal. And it's gonna go all the way over here, connect it with this tower, which is gonna have a gate. This is gonna be the back entrance to the castle. It's gonna connect down to the river. And then it connects all the way around here. I don't know what's gonna go over here just yet, but that's something that's gonna be fun to figure out. Hopefully, nothing too big compared to all my other things that need building. It's gonna connect back up to the canal on this side. There's gonna be two bridges crossing the canal. Here we're gonna have the central main gate to the castle, and it's just gonna connect up all the way over there. But this building has to go in before I can do the wall. That's the simple plan for around here. We, of course, have like a living room, which is gonna go here, and the dining room, which is gonna go there. And on this side, we do still have to connect up the wall up to the mountain, so it has some defense. Yeah, with a lot of the castle, it kind of just needs like small areas to be worked on.、Um, so, for an example, off camera, I added a staircase that goes down to this area just to connect up the two. It was kind of boring, and trust me, any replay mod file of this would be like the most boring <laughs> and also like bad angles, you know, <laughs> as I'm building that.、But、yeah, the map. Of the castle, look how bright it is in the shaders I have.、Uh, the map is coming along nicely, and I do have to update it because Sprinkles has added a huge amount to the city. But for right now, I think I might start getting to work on that other side of the castle. We're a little bit away from the castle, but actually, since the last few episodes, I don't think I've actually mentioned some of the shenanigans going on on the server, but there has been. There's been. A theft of my rote. It's been taken. Yeah,、uh, so there is there is a war going on between the Fluffle and the Farmers Union. And it's, as you can see by the amount of ears going around the server, it's been going pretty well. There's an oil rig out there in, in, in the water. You know, what has what has spawn come to? But you know, that's just one of the things that's happened. We also had. Four of the members on the server in MCC Rising. And as you can see, we have their banners up here. So there's been a lot of like fun shenanigans. BH had a birthday, and now he is 
one with film. And we've also gained a new shop over here at the, the post office that sells trading cards. So there's been a lot going on on the server. I haven't been recording much of it, but if you go check out the other members of the backyard, you can definitely keep up with some of the shenanigans that have been going on. And recently we even had an event uh, which I streamed and then I made a video about, about me going to prison on the backyard, <laughs> which was a fun, a very fun thing to record and have fun being a part of. Strangely enough though, something has occurred um, in my, my greenhouse, so, something has changed since the last time. Emchamu butterfly looks like it matches the thistle perfectly, but the thistle has grown and I'm a little bit concerned. This one over here hasn't just yet, so I'm glad that that one hasn't. There is Kevin 1 and 2, don't mind them. Uh, they're residents of this place. But this one has grown a significant amount and I don't, I don't know what we're gonna be doing. It's kind of terrifying. M, M Gelada doesn't seem to know what's going on, and hopefully M Gelada's fine. Um, but I will say it's it's a little bit kind of scary in here. I will just ignore that. I think we're just gonna get back to work on building up this side of the castle and maybe even potentially connecting it up with the ground. I've lit up the base down here. And maybe we will start work on both the walls to this area and the terrain and landscaping going all the way to the ground. So I'll see you guys when I've done some work on that. I've fallen. Help. I'm in a tree.
we've made a little bit of an addition, just a small, small addition to the castle. <laughs> we've added some walls, some mountainside, it's a pathway leading down, this is the back entrance to the castle. And I think it turned out pretty well. I mean, it's a little bit, like, empty at the moment. I only have some of the few trees that I managed to somehow keep. It is kind of needing a little bit of foliage in places, and that's where I have kind of an idea. Now, there is a secret cave, a secret cave down here, which I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. My son offered to take over the cave. It's gonna be a fun spot if anything happens here. There was just a natural water inlet there, and I didn't want to get rid of it, so I just kept it and incorporated it into the build. But along here, I, there was an idea that I had in my head that I thought could be kind of fun. I was thinking of having some kind of bushes growing along here, either like vineyards or some kind of like trellised plant growing on the back side of the castle. I don't know why I'd be growing here, but you know, it sounds like fun, so I'm gonna do that. The pathway's looking pretty good. Pretty much the only thing that needs to be done in this area. I also did the gateway. That's another thing I did. Yeah, kind of forgot about that. <laughs> the only other things I really need to do is some of the guard towers. And there's obviously going to be like the wall extending over the water, but I can get to that later. And obviously like filling in the gap, because right now there's just a hole into the abyss right now. But I wanted to get some of the guard towers in, which shouldn't be too complicated because I'm just copying the designs that I have over on this side. I'm just going to put those and I'm going to put one there and I'm going to put one over there. Not too difficult. We still do need to make the front entrance, but I don't think we're going to get to that today. The waterway is going down into the city and Sprinkles has added a massive wheel. It's all coming along. We have massive wall. Now, now it doesn't look like the castle is floating anymore, which is actually a very big deal. I believe on all sides now, except maybe here. <laughs> On all sides now, there is some kind of structural connection to the ground, which does make me happy. There's obviously a few spots that need walls and whatnot, like over here, this area still needs to be done. And there's, you know, obviously little bits where detail needs to be added or anything like that. But it all makes logical sense now, which is the primary thing I'm happy about. And I think to end off the video, we're gonna do some lovely foliage work and maybe add in those towers so i will see you guys i might bring you along for some of the building stuff but we will see so around here i was actually thinking of building a little bit of a like the winery's owner lives here you know maybe this is just like some rich like royal who lives here <laughs> i don't know and they've just decided like, oh, you know, I want to retire from my royal duties and I'm going to have a little winery here. And this is, this is where they live. <laughs> so I'm just building up a little, little house. Kind of big. I was going to go for a little bit smaller, but then I went for this size. So now I have to live with that. I have a little bit of a window in the front here and then the rows and rows of vineyards is just going to go around the place. And hopefully that will be a lot of fun. But yeah, this is what it's looking like so far. I want to do kind of like a cool thing with trapdoors out the front here, but I don't know quite the design just yet. There's going to be like a kitchen and maybe even a lower area down here. That sounds cool. That's what I'll do. <laughs> okay, well, I'll, I'll get a little bit more to work.
can't bring you along on some of my building on the tower. So I'm just going around basically copying what I've designed elsewhere in the castle. Placing some blocks around. There's some creepers about, you know, menacingly staring at me as I as I build. But I'm gonna be putting in another what do you call it? Flag. Another flag to match that one over there. Uh, they all point in the same southeastern direction. I've made sure to make sure <laughs> they all go in the same direction. They're also kind of a simple design. And down here, above this creeper's head, I do that. Yes. I'm gonna have this there. One of these guys underneath that's open. And a little flag. There we go. So I've been uh, hard at work and I've added some of the foliage. <laughs> yeah, I, well actually all of the foliage to this area. I don't know if I'm going to be putting any on the cliff faces. I kind of like the way the cliff faces look because that's kind of how they look in regular Minecraft except they have coal in them or something. But I think they're fine the way they are. So I'm not going to put any foliage on these ones because I feel like it doesn't make too much sense considering how steep they are. Anything would just kind of fall right off and go straight into the water. Yeah, we have a lovely little walkway. So this is the back entrance to the castle. At least one of them. I might actually make another one on the other side. I'll go show you in a bit, but we're not doing that today. Here we have the owner of the vineyard's house and they have some like barrels for wines. I don't know how they make the wine in this magic. Okay, that's not the front door. We walked in the wrong way. Here is the front door to their house. They walk in here. It's not like super detailed and furnished. I just did some basic furnishings just to make it have something inside. This room literally has three barrels and that's it. Here's the kitchen. Again, not too, not too like full of anything. I could have put some stuff on the walls, but oh well. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be telling you all of my mistakes as I'm going through here. Uh, but yeah, we got a little dining room, a little balcony. It's a very nice view, actually. Whoever lives here is really living the life, honestly. Yeah, we also have an upstairs with a little area here and two bedrooms. You know, this one doesn't have any windows. Sucks to be them, whoever lives there, but it's okay. But yeah, that is the winery house, the vineyard house. This is how it looks like from the outside. And I thought it... Bush. Uh, my... <laughs> My armor is not doing the best. Turns out, you know, wearing gold armor isn't great against berry bushes. But happy with how this house turned out. I think it fits in the area very nice. And it's the right size. I didn't want to make it too big. Make it stand out and like, you know, look too strange against the castle. But I think I made it the right size. And I like the trees. The trees that I made. Just uh, I put four tree, Five trees in. That's also a tree. As well as some vine... Some vineyards. I put in some berry bushes uh, and fake trellises. Maybe they're two different kinds of grapes. Maybe that's the new grapes that have been planted and they're growing right now. And these ones, they were the old ones and they have a different time of year. They bloom. I don't know. Some kind of logic could explain it. <laughs> I also finished up the guard towers. And now, ooh. so now we have actual guard towers on the side of the castle. Um, again, we still have the hole in the ground. <laughs> it will be filled in eventually. Not today, though. I don't feel like it. Uh, I've done enough work today. I did that entire foliage just before. I think I think I deserve a break. But yeah, you can get inside the guard towers now. Look around. Hey, you need to shoot out the window. You can. Blur effect on my shaders is really blurring right now. I apologize. <laughs> Turn it off, actually. Uh, but yeah, up here we can see quite a lot of things. We got this flag. I probably should have made it a little bit taller, but again, I'm pointing out my mistakes now, and so now you can see them too. But we have that one there. It's going to extend the wall across the waterway, so we're going to have another water gate here. And then there's going to be another tower, like right here. And then the, the wall will continue along here until the final tower on this side is going to be there. But I'm not doing that right now. I actually might end up doing some of those, like, 
very briefly in between episodes or something or i'll show you a little bit in the next episode who knows but there is the gateway entrance now with some flags on it to actually show what country you are entering when you know you i, I mean i hope this is also solora i imagine there's like a welcome sign like down the street or something but up here we have the flags to make sure you know that this is the castle of so Laura, this is Stratus Castle you are entering, so you must be aware of that you're doing that. I also have this one over here. The reason this isn't filled in properly just yet is because I'm probably going to be tearing out all of this dirt anyway, because I'm going to have some stuff over here. Uh, I imagine we'll get to that in another video or something. But there's gonna be there's gonna be stuff here and I'm gonna have to rip out some dirt. So I figured I don't need to fill in the whole thing. <laughs> but if we head into here, we have the other guard tower that I built. And it goes all the way up here. And I actually added the top bits onto it and didn't forget this time like I almost did. But yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed the episode and my and my and my building. I know this was heavy on the building. Expect that to be like the rest of the season to be <laughs> because I do want to get this done, believe it or not. And so I'm very happy with the amount of work we did today. I think it turned out really well, and I'm very happy. I like my secret cave that has nothing in it. That's a fun thing. But I'm very excited to see how the castle is turning out. We did a ton of stuff in this video, and we're going to be getting up to a ton more in the next episode, too. I already have some pretty big plans for that. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Goodbye. The queen wishes you goodbye. Yeah.